His name is week seven, I believe, and this week, by coincidence, is another poem from a black male in the, I think, twenty early twentieth century. Uh, yeah, early twentieth century, and it's I think about Harlem, or at least black struggles, and it was pure by pure chance. Um, it's on the same sort of topic, so and it's quite short, but uh, there's quite a lot of imagery packed into it. But I got something, a uh, next poem for next week. It's quite interesting, but uh, yeah, um, let's get into it. No Images by William Waring Cuny. She does not know her beauty. She thinks her brown body has no glory. If she could dance naked under palm trees and see her image in the river, she would know. But there are no palm trees on the street, and this water gives back no images. Right, so from what I gathered from the poem, um, it's again from a, it's interesting from a male's perspective about a woman. So I'm presuming it's a female character and evidently the words brown body, she is obviously um, black, living in, in the US, presumably Harlem, because that's where I um, read that the poet was living. Um, but anyway, so far as I've understood, that this theme is essentially, okay, she doesn't know her, what her beauty is. You know, there's no images, no reflection upon the river because there are no rivers. There are no palm trees that back in wherever she, origin, she originally was from or her family's from. You know, tropical countries, palm trees, vibrant stuff. She can't really see a reflection because there's no dish water. And interestingly, dish water. Is she a cleaner? Because, of course... Back in the early 19, I mean, uh, 20th century, and to some extent now, like, when you think of black folk and their work and their work history, you don't necessarily see them as higher class earners. Um, it's typically lower class menial work, and or just migrants in general, but which tend to be people of color, um, doing cleaning jobs. And so the poet um, quite succinctly describes how if you can't see your reflection you can't see your beauty but the thing is I think it was dishwater or dishwasher I can't really I think it's dishwasher because there's no images to, upon to see your reflection whereas where she originally was she can admire her brown skin and again brownness or whiteness tend to have us inferior and superior complex respectively um, especially during the time it was written it was written in somewhere in the early 1920s or definitely because um, I think I, I read he was born in the 1903s or something so yeah um, something about uh, Harlem Renaissance as well um, he was uh, I don't know if they made it look like Harlem was a very attractive place because it had um, connotations with obviously the riots but I think that was that was after his time I'm sure um, but yeah it's a very short poem but I, I think it highlights how well beauty isn't really you know the saying it's the eyes and the beholder but actually if you think about it we all kind of accept some societal standards about stuff um, even stuff like art I mean generally art, if you think about it throughout the hundreds of years styles change even clothing so one can say oh yeah beauty everyone's universally beautiful but actually according to his standard because every generation we always have different sort of you know, long ago, and not too long ago, actually, beards was a sign of um, uncleanliness. And in fact, it technically is, because it, it just allows more um, dirt to accrue on your face. 
um, but now it's it's kind of like seen as a, a sign of grooming and masculinity, and likewise um, femininity and and whatever comes with that in terms of dress is sometimes you you cover up, sometimes you don't, and it depends on what country you are from. Which I think interestingly is is why the author said poet said palm trees. There's no palm trees in the middle of um, in inner city America, unless. So I'm assuming they're comparing where they came from, and again, assuming it was written in the early 1900s. Uh, it's a very recent history, right? Um, I'm kind of after relying on keywords from the memory, um, keywords from the poem by memory, because uh, <laughs> it's short, so I can afford to do it. But I've, um, yeah, those are my thoughts. I can't really find too much online. Um, yeah, but like I said, next week you'll be surprised what I've got because it's a different flavor. See you tomorrow. Uh, see you next week. Cheers.